Hola amigos, bienvenido al podcast Improvisato 72. I went to Spain. Uh, yeah, I see that. But you definitely read that off your computer. I did, I did, mm. I had to. Mm. Um, podcast 72. Zach's back. I'm cultured, I'm back. Yep. I understand Europe. Yeah, I'm yeah, fully, you do. fully under. I, I, I took it all in for two weeks. Yeah, that's pretty amazing. I'm, I'm happy for you. This is our first podcast with both of us being full time content creators, right? Yeah, I don't think there's been a podcast that we filmed prior to us being actually full time. So yes. today was our first. What did you say in the beginning there? I said, "Hola amigos," which is "Hello friends." Yes. Um, bienvenido, welcome to the podcast. Welcome to the makeshift podcast 72. I actually don't know what okay. I said. Okay. <laughs> well, hopefully I somebody can translate that in the improvisado live Improvisado maybe means makeshift. I don't know. Bienvenido. I don't know what you do. Google Translate. Whatever it is. Um, yes, I went Welcome. to Spain. I came back. We're here. First full-time day as makeshift content creators full-time. Yes. Yes. Um, um, I had an idea. I wanted to... Ex- a lot of people have been asking us in the chat, in the live chats, in the live streams, what our jobs were before this. Oh, okay. Um, so I don't know. Do you want to do it now or do you want to do it as a separate video? No, let's do it now. Do it now? Let's, uh, let's okay. just throw it in there. Well, then let's just throw it out there because every live chat of every podcast, people ask. And I haven't told them yet because I've been setting this up. Okay, I like it. So do you want to start? You want me to start? Or do you it? want me to start? <laughs> Your job's a lot more fun than mine, <laughs> mine was. I worked in the financial industry yeah. at a company called DTCC. Yes. Um, I worked as an organizational change management analyst. Don't know what that is. Still. It's mainly just internal communications within the marketing side of things mm. to be able to help ease people through their change. Mm-hmm. It sounds made up. I swear it was real. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I mean, you did make money off of it. And then uh, kind of translated into product management slash product owner responsibilities, yes. which again, makes perfect sense to our audience, right? I don't even understand. Yeah, it, I don't, I don't think you. I understood it either. But yes, yeah, so that's where I worked prior. I worked there for four and a half years. Mm-hmm. I interned there the year before. So if you count that, five and a half plus years yeah. there, um, basically as an analyst and then a, uh, an analyst. associate moving up through the corporate ladder. Um, well, we just lost 20 viewers from that. <laughs> yeah, everyone <laughs> dropped off because it's just so boring. There's nothing that was really too exciting about it. I'm really excited to be doing something a little bit yeah, more fun. No. I've told two people now, two official people. Well, now you've told everybody. Well, yes, I have. No, I'm saying when they ask my job, oh, they're okay. like, oh, what do you do for work? Now that we are full-time content yeah, yeah, creators, yeah. I've actually said content creator. I say I have a podcast. It feels very weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, feels it feels good though. I think podcast might be the route to yeah, go. I have a podcast. I have a podcast. Um, My job before this was I worked at a company called Overtime Sports. It's if you don't know what it is, which I'm assuming a lot of our viewers know what it is because it's the same type of audience, I think. Uh, Overtime Sports is basically a sports media company uh, similar to Barstool. Everybody knows Barstool. I was a social video editor, producer, and shooter. I shot podcasts. I shot in the field. I edited and I produced. I mainly just edited videos all day long. Just behind the desk. Yeah. And uh and just edited videos for that and then edited videos for makeshift. So I never leave the computer. Um, Fun. Which now I'm hoping to <laughs> get outside of that. Build your life back. Get it yeah. back a little bit, you know? I know. <laughs> feel like you've been suffering for quite some I time know. just behind a computer, yeah. behind the screen. So I worked there. And before that, I worked at the Giants. Before that, I worked at Rutgers Football. And now we work for makeshift, both of us. Yeah. It's exciting times here. It is exciting times. You know what? It's weird times too. It is weird times. It feels a little. It feels a little different. I think it feels, feels good. good. It feels off. The podcast is changing a little too. It's going to become a little more conversational to an extent. To yes. an extent, but I think it's still going to keep its roots. The games will stay in the short form primarily, but for the most part, we're going to be conversational on the podcast. Yes, and we're going to go through and but start, it's the same vibe. Same vibe. Well, and. and <laughs> What a way to start because I'm on to play a quick game. Okay. It's a guessing game. It is right. a guessing game, right. but it's Let's quick. It. It's quick. Okay. Let's do it. How many miles long is the Great Wall of China? I want you to give your best guess. Is this here. just. That's it. That's it? This is it. I want you to give your best guess. <sighs> yeah, I, I know. I know. I know. It's probably really long. <laughs> that's a pretty solid answer so far. I like it. <sighs> I'm just trying to think in my head how long like 500 miles really is. I don't know if you scale it out and try and figure it out. I think it's like 300 miles from North Jersey to South Jersey. Okay. That's my guess. So I'm going to say 200 miles. 200 miles? Yes. Brian, why don't you up your guess a little bit? 500 miles. Up your guess a little bit. 1,000 miles. Brian, this number is so obscene. I I, Obscene. Good word. Thank you. Vocabulary. (laughs) Obscene. I couldn't believe it when I heard it. Guess higher. 
15,000 miles. Okay, a little bit lower than that. 10,000 miles. 13,171 miles. Do you understand how large that is? No, I'm trying to find a comparison. You want me to quantify it for you? Because yeah, I, I do. Did. I do. This I do. is what I do, right? I, yeah. I provide some context. The United States alone is 2,800 miles wide. That means that it's almost what? five times the width of the United States. Tell me how that makes sense in no, any insane. historical context. I don't understand that. Does it go across the entire China? I don't think it does. I think it kind of goes up and down a little bit and like swerves. Oh. And that's probably why we don't imagine it being as long as it is. It's really amazing. Almost five times the size of the United States. That's, I wonder <laughs> if anyone's walked across the entire thing. They probably oh. had to have. I don't know. It, that, it's inconceivable to me. Good I, word I again. Under, Good thank word you. again. I'm, you know, vac- vocabulary is on? on point today. Yeah. Uh, it's inconceivable to me. I don't understand how they built... First of all, I don't understand roads. So it's six times the size of the U.S., basically? It's like five. That's insane. Yeah. 4.7 if you're being like technical. So you'd have to go back and forth. I thought it was less than the size of New Jersey. No. Yeah. Well, that's what I thought when I originally guessed. I was like, it has to be like 200 miles, 300 miles. Also, that's highways crazy. and roads don't make sense to me at all. Why? I don't understand how they built them. Roads? Yeah. Concrete? Yes, but when? Like a long time ago. Okay. And how long did it take them to do that? Probably a while. Once the next, once, <laughs> when, <laughs> when's the last new road that has appeared? When did they build these roads? I don't, I don't understand know. how they're all connected. Like if they well, did it 200 years ago, how did they know? Every exactly single where road to- is connected in the US, I think. It has to be, right? You have to be able to get to every road by a road. Yeah, I guess you I think about this much sometimes. Anyways. Yeah, well, now we're talking about yeah. it. It's not, it's not just a thought anymore. So it's like my development is connected, or like the street that I live on, Okay. The street that I live on is connected to a road in Panama City. Uh, yeah. Where is that? Central America? Panama. Panama? Central, Central America? Central America. Okay. It so has you could to drive be. through Mexico and get all the way down there. Yeah. Yeah. There's a physical way to get there by, by vehicle. Road. Insane. But I don't <laughs> like bridges, tunnels. For You saw the bridge um, yeah. collapse? Yes. Wild. How long is it going to take for them to build that? Probably a long time. Did you hear about the... Oh, my God. No. <laughs> Did you hear about the the war stuff? Not the war stuff. The ships that we have? No. So it t- right now is a great time for World War III for anybody but the United States. Okay. Like we're screwed. Why? Because that harbor bridge, it blocks it. it now there's, there's no way to get in and out of that harbor because Correct. of that bridge. And it's one in, of the biggest ports yeah, for us. In there, there's two of the biggest warships in the world owned by the US. Oh, and they just can't take them out. You can't take them out. So if they come over, the East Coast is kind of screwed. So we're just, we're sitting unguarded. Ducks. We're sitting ducks. <laughs> oh boy, okay. <laughs> we're sitting ducks in that We're harbor. a sitting duck and China's got a wall that's 13,000 yeah, miles long. Like there's no winning Well, we this. have a wall. We do. Made out of uh, uh, too, dark. too dark. No, no. <laughs> um, yeah, I know. I saw a TikTok that, that showed that, the Great Wall of China. No one's guess has been even remotely close. I believe it because that's insane. And how they build it. When did they build it? When Isn't was there the like Great a bunch of China built? dead Chinese warriors under it? I'm when sure was the Great Wall of China built? Dead Chinese warriors built. under Great Wall. The Great Wall. Okay, Brian. <laughs> Here's another yes, one. Yes, there are dead bodies inside of the Great Wall. That's insane. <laughs> guess, guess what year the Great Wall of China was built? BC. Before Christ. Yes. Do you know what year? 200. 220. I know that. So how they build? Okay, so I I don't get the modern day roads. Well, how do they build the pyramids? I don't know. That's even more the, insane. Is Zach. it though? I feel like it's like no. Kinda, it actually might not be. It's more kind insane. of on the same level. You're right. Joe Rogan talks about the pyramids all the time. Never talks about the Great Wall of China. No one's talking about the Great Wall of China. The Colosseum. No one's talking about it. Colosseum. Eighty A.D. The Taj what Mahal. Sixteen forty eight. Uh, after death. It has to be. Taj Mahal is not as impressive as either of those two things before it. No, I uh, maybe the Colosseum. Taj Mahal is pretty nice though. Yeah. It looks beautiful. I went inside a bull ring. What? Yeah. L- like with a live bull in it? No, 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 no. Oh, so then that's not fun at One all. One of the oldest, most historic bull rings. In Spain. Ring, right? Run with the bulls in Spain. <laughs> yeah. They have a battle once a year there. What is bullfighting? Do you know what it is? It's when they have the the red yeah. thing. Toro, toro. Yeah, it's, it's not fighting. It's more just them just running. No, around. they do fight. They oh. kill bull versus bull? They kill No, that's what I thought. But it's it's people on horse, and they usually kill like five bulls throughout the, the day. What do they yeah. do? They have to kill them humanely, Javelin? or else they don't. Yes, they have to kill them humanely, That's or else not they don't get the, at all. Well, they have to get that. 
They have to do it humanely to get the prize money. They have to respect the bull as as a fellow wrestler in the ring. That doesn't seem... The bull is unarmed. I'm so cultured That now. doesn't mean... He's unarmed, but with arms. <laughs> yes. Or legs. Now. They used to fight him on foot, but too many people were dying. Yeah, but that's more even. Human with weapon versus bull is even. I don't know. I think. All right, all right. Let's... <laughs> We got a little sidetracked yeah. and I liked it. I enjoyed that's, it. That's the conversation. That's the, that's the conversation. The, Here we go. Podcast. Just two brains that have known each other for a long time conversing. Mm-hmm. Big vocabulary day for Zach. Yeah. My girlfriend calls me brain sometimes. Oh yeah? Because it's she doesn't spell it correctly. B-R-A-I-N. B-R-I-A-N. That, how does that relate to what we're... Uh, B-R-I-A-N. B-R-A-I-N. Okay. Yeah, no, I get it. <laughs> you said two brains. <laughs> what you got? What you got for me? Okay. Um, all right. So I got some some fun stuff. So we talked about, I, I just like thinking about like how many it's going to take to kill you. Okay. <laughs> we've come up with a bunch of these and, or we haven't come up with a watch data has, but our friend Mike sent us a Snapchat. Yeah. Did you get that Snapchat? No. Oh, he sent the Snapchat of his little cousin said one of his favorite oh, ones is how, ma- how many 11 year olds we could take <laughs> yes, on. I did see that. Um, all right. How many of these foods would it take to kill you? So you've done something like this before. Okay. Cups of water. Oh, Not a could- food, but. Classifies. Well, you could over drink. You yeah. could over hydrate. Over hydrate. I think if you have like two gallons plus, you got to break down to cups now. 64 cups in a gallon or 128. 64. 64. What? Wait. <laughs> there are 16 cups in a gallon. Yeah. That's, okay. I think okay, that's so more like it. So what about, how about like 50? 50? Yeah. So that, what are you saying? That's gallon wise? That's like two and a half gallons? No, you're wrong. 25 cups 25 of cups. water. I don't, uh, I guess I do believe that. Sometimes, <laughs> <laughs> where are you going? Sometimes with it? when I drink, like when I go out to the bar and I drink a bunch of beer, I come back and I drink four massive cups of water. How is that possible? I do it, and sometimes I fear for my life. <laughs> no, no. Okay, okay. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> don't fear for your I life. I know, I know, I know. You don't have to. The water's going through you throughout the night. Yeah. I think this is 25 cups without peeing. Yeah, that's yeah, my yeah. guess. Yeah, because you could overhydrate, but yeah. as long as it's passing through you, yeah. So twenty five. Don't be fearful. All right. <laughs> uh, what about burgers? I feel like I could eat like four burgers on a good on a good day. Like within like one like one sitting. Right, give me session. an hour. Give me an hour. An hour. You could do. Depends four, how big the burgers. Five, are. five guys burgers. Mm, Not double. Just two, regular. Maybe maybe two, three, maybe three. I think you could eat more than that. Is that I think a you challenge? Could go three or four. Are you challenging me? I think you. What about like McDonald's burgers? Oh, for 20. <laughs> 20 <laughs> single what, patties. The dollar menu pa- burgers. Not 20, but 10. In an hour? Easily. In an hour? Forget it. I think I could eat 10. I also want to do the McNuggets challenge. Yeah, we should do it today. Four, no. I can't. <laughs> I've, I've gained <laughs> right, How many burgers weight. would kill you? <laughs> um, let's, go with, let's go with six. Am I off? Yeah. Yeah. Wait, so you think eating? I feel like people have done that. Like single the, patty burger. So we're not talking yeah. like a restaurant burger. Yeah. So this no, is like McDonald's. Just type. a burger. Okay. Twelve. D- Sixty-five. <laughs> Sixty-five. Sixty-five burgers. <laughs> think about the competitive eaters. Oh, you're right. Like hot dogs, they eat seventy or eighty. It is. So it takes sixty-five burgers, but water, which is supposed to be better for you, takes less. Twenty-five cups. Yeah, but I don't know. See what I'm saying? Yeah, I know. What about soda? How many cans? I feel like you could over sugarify yourself. Over sugar, over sugar. You're fire. losing it on the vocabulary. <laughs> I'm really going. I'm backtracking. Yeah. Uh, 20. 20. 20 cans, you're saying? 20 cans. 48 cans 48 of soda. Cans. Mm. Which also doesn't make sense. So more soda, less water would kill you than soda. Than soda. Unless a cup is bigger than a can. A can is 12 ounces. A cup is 16. 16. Is it though? I don't know. I think a cup is eight. I'm not good with that. <laughs> Chocolate. Mm. We're talking bars. Bars? Bars of chocolate. Like a Hershey bar? Hershey bar. Beast bar. Uh, feastable bar. Feastable bar? Beast bar. Feastable I'm going to say like 80. Mm? 80 bars. 80 bars. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. 85 bars. 85. Yeah, pretty much in the realm here. I, I don't understand. think I could eat 85 bars. Well, you can eat 85 <laughs> bars because it'll die. I can't eat more than like four. No, you it's could. Too much chocolate. If your life was on the line, you could eat 20. You know what I get scared of? If this channel Dude. turns into us doing a bunch of challenges, it probably will. I fear for ourselves. I can yeah, eat a lot of food. I know, and then you're you're really competitive. So then you'll just I'm competitive <laughs> with myself. I know. I'm like I'll finish plates that I have no intention of finishing. Yeah. All right. What about cups of coffee? 
You could over caffeinate, over caffeinate, a little over hydrate, a little, little jittery. Your face starts a shaking. Jittery. Um, twelve. No, <laughs> seventy cups of coffee. Seventy. Apparently, you could eat. You, you, um, eat. You could drink seventy cups of coffee. I don't. I don't want to do that. I don't. I wouldn't even be able to do like four. You don't even drink one. I don't drink. You don't drink I've coffee never, at all. I've never drank one. You've had. You've had. Coffee. I haven't. You've Not never. A, I have never drank a full cup of coffee. Okay, so you've. Had I've six. had sips. I've had espresso shots before. I've had like five in my lifetime. Yeah. Say it again. Espresso. Okay, good. What do you think I said? No, some people say espresso, and it's espresso. just not right. No, espresso. Uh, what about slices of cheese? Mm. You ever see the cheese on the baby? Yeah. So if a baby's crying, those. you throw a slice of cheese on it. What? <laughs> You've never seen that? No. So if a baby's a meme, if a baby's crying, you throw a piece of cheese on their face, and it sticks to their face, and they stop crying. That's not. There's real. like a whole compilation. I don't of believe it. that's I'm, real. Try it. I don't know any babies. <laughs> I don't know any either, but we could find one. Um, could we get in trouble for that? <laughs> oh, it's April Fool's Day. Yeah. Uh, was that the April Fool's? Were you going to fool me? Were you going to prank me? No, I wasn't. Okay. I should have. I should have too. Whatever. <laughs> My birthday's Wednesday. It is. What are we doing? What slices are, of cheese. Slices of cheese. <laughs> Let's go at 150. 90 slices. 90 slices. It's a lot of cheese. I bought 16 slices at the store today. Not enough to kill me. Not enough to Not kill me. Not enough to kill me. I had two of them this Not morning. Not deadly. I eat food. Oh, 45 more days. Is there another one in that? No. Okay. I I am so excited for this one too. Let's do it. So I figured I'd get my kind of geography world stuff out. I mm. feel like it does well on certain platforms. Because you know what you're it is? So dumb. You ready? I think I'm better at Instagram. What I think my mean? I feel like our crowd resonates with a lot of my topics on Instagram. Oh. And they resonate more with your topics on TikTok. That's my takeaway. Oh. Because some of our most okay. viral stuff. On Instagram okay. is the topics that I start. Okay. But I think you do what better on TikTok. Yeah. Okay. So am I making sense? I, yeah. I haven't looked at the numbers, but I just I like could a, believe some, you. You know, there's a few on Instagram that got over 30 million that came up. The Harry with. Potter one did well. The Harry Potter one killed. That's our most popular one of all time. Yeah. Um, so I was thinking in the sense of the world and, and the United States. Um, and when I was on this trip in Spain, I thought of this question. Yeah. I'm ready. If you had to get rid of five U.S. states... Which ones are you picking? Arkansas, North Dakota, South Dakota, Idaho. No, never mind. Not Idaho. Yeah, potatoes. Yeah, you not Idaho. can't get rid of the potatoes. Let me restart. Yeah, can you that slow down? Fast. You really it's just jumped fast. into it. Too Were fast. you like prepared for that question? No, but Arkansas. Arkansas. Nobody, <laughs> I've never met a single person that said they were from or have been to Arkansas. Mm. Yeah. No, it might be a good icebreaker. Useless. Have you been to Arkansas? Just to find one person. <laughs> yeah? Your yeah. fun fact? Oh, uh, I've been to Arkansas. I know somebody that has been to Arkansas. Have they? No, I What's don't. What's there? Um, so I tried thinking of states that like there's nothing to see or do there. Arkansas. It's usually pretty cold. One, Arkansas. Yeah, but Arkansas is relatively warm. No? Yeah, but I'm getting like, rid of Think it. of like North Dakota. Like I don't know any anything going on in I'm North Dakota. I'm getting rid of Arkansas. Okay, Arkansas is <laughs> one. I'm getting rid of North Dakota. North Dakota's too. Should I just get rid of South Dakota too? <laughs> South Dakota has Mount Rushmore. You can't get rid of it. Yeah, so you can't. Dumb, no. <laughs> yeah. All right. I can't get rid of it. Um, North Dakota, Arkansas. You know, I've been to a lot of these states, like you, these random states. You could go You could go bigger states that have nothing going on. You could go really small states here. Like, like yeah. there's a lot of thought. No, the small state, Rhode Island. I really like Rhode Island. Do you like Rhode, Rhode Island? Island's really nice. I was going to take Rhode Island out. No, said, it's beautiful. I said it's small. It's so it's nice. Th- it's like little brother. Is uh, it? It's so nice. I can go with you. you get the same area, the five states that surround no. it. No, no, no. All right. Arkansas, North Dakota. Hmm. What about Ohio? No, Ohio's good. You got Cleveland. What's in Cleveland? LeBron James. Who cares? No, Ohio's not <laughs> terrible. I'm getting rid of Iowa. Iowa? Iowa. Don't they do a food? Corn? Are they corn? Nebraska's corn. Nebraska's corn. I'm okay. keeping Nebraska. Oof. Have to keep Nebraska. All right. Iowa, Arkansas, North Dakota are out of here. Okay. You need two more. I like that west, northwest region. I like it. It like looks Washington. nice. It looks good. Oregon? Yeah. It looks or- good. You like Oregon? Oregon. Oregon? Oregon. You like it? Portland? Yeah. Is it well, Oregon? Let's, we could keep it. We could keep it. We're going to keep it. Okay. We're going to get rid of... What about Minnesota. No, like Minnesota is beautiful. Is it? Montana's beautiful. <laughs> Minnesota? I think they're like the land of the lakes, Minnesota. Yeah, we'll leave it. You'll leave it? We'll leave it. For the lakes? Yeah, for the lakes. Okay. 
Land of a Hundred Lakes or something. It's, it's, someone help me out. I don't know what they're actually called. Let me let me pull up a U.S. map. Would you keep Alaska? Yeah, I've been to Alaska. Yeah, I know, but it's just kind of doing kind of doing nothing also, over there. Ton of oil there. If we lost Alaska, what happens? We'd lose a lot of money because the oil. Ugh, you're thinking too financially about this. Uh, Wisconsin, I'm keeping because the cheese. Yes. Wyoming, cheese. Jackson Hole's there. It's beautiful. Okay. I'm not even going to go into that West. I, don't, I like West. <laughs> really, I really, like West. You really feel passionately yeah. about that West side. Yeah. They got mountains. It's beautiful out there. Oh, I like a lot of states. Yeah, I know you do. That's why this is where it gets tough. So I feel like the first three were pretty standard for you. I'm getting rid of Kansas. <laughs> Kansas? <laughs> I've been there. I've been there. I've done that. It's fine. It's <laughs> just... It's if vanilla was a state. That's oh, what yeah? It yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah? But Kansas sure. is gone. If you live in Kansas and you're listening to this, I apologize. I'm sorry. On behalf. It's not you. It's the state. Kansas, Arkansas, Iowa. North Dakota. North Dakota. You need one more. Get rid of Ohio. Just no. do it. We don't need it. We don't need Indiana? it. Indiana? Indiana? I like Indiana. Indiana's. Indiana. Indiana. <laughs> Get Indiana <Okay>. out. <laughs> Indiana's out. Oh, so keep everybody exciting. else. Keep everyone out. Ohio, you're welcome. You're welcome. You made the cut. You're welcome. Next podcast, we cut another five. Oh, really? <laughs> no, should no, we? let's do it. Yeah. Should we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Can you note those down? Yeah. Can you write write those down, Jamie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let yeah. me write those. Okay, down. he's writing those down. Ohio, <laughs> Iowa. I wanted to do that with countries. Way too political. Yeah, we don't need that. <laughs> I was going to say major countries, and I was just like, I nah. we don't need that for the channel. No, no, no. That's not necessary. That's negativity. That's negativity. But, uh, yeah. Um, so I, I want to keep the surviving. No stickers on the laptop. No stickers on the laptop. No stickers on the laptop. You got to pay if you want on the laptop. <laughs> you want on the laptop, you got to pay. <laughs> I just wanted to announce that. You don't know how long I spent scrubbing this it's thing. It's really this nice. It looks It's nice clean. and clean. You need a towel damp towel yeah and you got to really get in there and scrub yeah, yeah, yeah. our makeshift sticker i even took off we gotta pay yeah we, <laughs> we gotta pay, <laughs> gotta pay for but i took spot. it off and it was the hardest one to take off just all right. saying all right i got a random one this is keeping the the roots of the podcast the randomness okay how long can you survive eating only blank Oof. okay okay how long can you survive eating hair hair yep whose hair like human not hair. mine not my hair. Not, well, your beard. I'm growing out a little bit. You see it? Yeah. It's, com- it's coming in. Uh, I was at Easter yesterday and our family friend said he loves when I bring up that you have no hair. Said, Why? Frankie. Why? <laughs> he loves it's, it. I'm just over it. Said he gets I'm so mad. He goes, yeah, I love it. <laughs> I love it. And it is what it is. If I have to go bald, I go bald. Hair. How long? <sighs> Two days. I don't think you could eat. No, 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 no. Sorry. Just hair. Just hair. Just hair. I think. You I don't could, know if this includes water too or not. I think it's just hair. Eight days. No, <laughs> really? You could probably go like a hundred days. You think there's nutrition? Just hair? <laughs> six days. <laughs> you think you drive a hundred days? Six, give me six days. <laughs> One and a half weeks. One and it half was weeks. longer than I expected. Okay, so it's close with eight. So what is that? Ten it's days. Like ten days. It's impressive. I mean, I think you could go without any food for a certain amount of time. Right? So, like, eating hair, I don't think helps out, but I also don't think it hurts. Yeah. What about chewing gum? Mm. I'm assuming that water is involved here. <laughs> like, you can drink water. I, I love think. when you, you spin and you, you doubt yourself. I think it involves water, too. Okay. We'll take with water. Chewing, so gum. chewing gum? Yeah. You're not even, like, swallowing No anything. nutrition, though. No Sugar. nutrition. That's Let's it. go 12 days. Let's stick so with the week and a half. longer than the hair. Yeah. No, it's week no, and a it's half. About, it's about. It's a bat. It's a week and a half. It's a week and a half. Week and a half again. Twelve days. Okay. Same as hair. Okay. Which is very interesting. Yep. What about coffee? Oh, I don't think you could just. There's no calories just in drink coffee. Drink coffee. Ten days. I think it's shorter than the hair and the. I gum. think they're talking about black coffee too. Black coffee. Yeah, just black coffee. You got the coffee beans. Twenty days. <laughs> you no, there's no me. calories. Ten yeah, days. No calories. Two point five weeks. Two point five weeks. 14, 24, 20, uh, 20, 20. <laughs> so I basically had no 17 no. days, 17 days. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're mathing. Nothing, nothing. How long can you live off? Nothing. 10 days. And I think again, I think it includes water. You think? It, yeah, but 10 so days, just water. Basically 10 days, three weeks, three weeks. You can go on a three week or 2.9 week fast. That's then you'll die. That's a little much. Yeah, no, I wouldn't do it. I don't like it. But if you're on an island now, you know. I like eating food. I don't. I'm think, gonna I, eat food. I don't think anyone dislikes it really. 
Oh, there's Depends. probably people out there. Probably people. Do. What about bacon? Mm. Oh, just bacon? Yep. Not healthy. No. Not healthy. Do you but think, I think it you hurts? Sur- no, but I, I think you're going to get some sort of nutrition. You're going to bulk up and your arteries are going to clog. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't they think. definitely will. Uh, the whole vacation, every dessert I ate. My bacon? girlfriend. Yeah, my girlfriend was just telling me. She was like, your poor arteries. No, oh. I mean a gelato, bacon. I thought you just ate bacon. Sausage. For a dessert? Just everything. Oh. Just everything. Cheesecake. Mm. Oh. It's okay. You gained three pounds. Four weeks. One month. Final guess? Final guess. 1.2 months. 1.2 months. Pretty good. See, you get some, the fats give you some energy. No What carbs. about beer? Beer? Just beer. 14 days. Two weeks. You think you'd live off beer for 14 days? I think, yeah. Period. Two and a half months. Two and a half months of just... You yes. know what? It's got carbs. We could try that. It's, <laughs> no, <laughs> let's not try that. No, it's not. It's got carbs. Also, you'd get really fat. You would. No, actually, because you don't eat food. Yeah, but Might it's, be a good diet choice. They're like empty calories. Is that what they call them? I think they're beer calories. I don't know. Big Macs. Big Macs are another artery clogger. They clog the <laughs> they arteries really, up. Yeah. You saw Super Size Me. It was just we all say saw that. the movie. Yeah, he ate for a we month and had health conditions. Um, two months. No. 20 years. No. Yes. Do not try this. No, definitely don't no. try this. But <laughs> but if you do try it, videotape it. You're good for 19 <laughs> years. You're good for 19. You could see. Uh, I want to see that one. You're going to bulk up. And die. What's it called? Dirty bulking? I saw something that said I think you, that that's like an excuse for eating unhealthy. I think it is. Okay. Like if somebody says they're bulking, they're just not caring I saw about that, that you can't, it's very difficult to put on muscle and like, and get shredded at the same time. So you need to do it in phases. You need to bulk and then cut. And it takes six to 10 months All to right. be able to build a foundation. All right. Uh, what about donuts? Oof. Dunkin'. Dunkin' Donuts. Dunkin' Donuts? What's the best donut? Boston cream. Yeah, I knew you were going to say that. Period. All right, this is just a regular donut. Although the chocolate frosted at Krispy Kreme, hmm? if the hot light's on, <laughs> forget it. Uh, just donuts. Let's go 45 days. I'm going to throw out a random number. Seven and a half months. Seven and a half months. You could get. You could be a donut guy. Again, you're going to... Cops do it. They don't do it. In movies, they do it. <laughs> it's, it's in movies, yes. Homer Simpson does you're gonna it. You're going to bulk up. By the way, we butchered Homer Simpson. Yeah, I know. It just works out of nuclear power plant. Nuclear power plant. <laughs> what about pizza? Uh, pizza, pizza, pizza. Pizza, pizza. I'm going to say longer than the Big Mac. Yeah? Uh, yeah, 40 yeah. years. 40 years. You're spot on. Yeah? 40 years. Nailed Did it. Did you know that? No, I didn't know that. It's like the most ideal food to eat for a lifetime, I think. I don't know if they're incorporating toppings and stuff, but cheese, bread. And tomato sauce. And tomato sauce. Vegetables. You had some food groups. Vegetables. So why carbs. do people get so mad when I eat pizza? Because it's fattening. I don't know if it is, though. If you could live <laughs> 40 know, years off of it. And if you're at a cal- caloric deficit, <laughs> you should be I all right. I might starting pizza all the time. <laughs> it's, it's not a bad idea. It's probably um, a bad idea. Let's do something for the... For, yeah, probably is. <laughs> let's do something for the food. I just want to mention. One of my for fi- what? No, no. For the food. For, for what food? food? The food. The food we got sent? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. One of my favorite things that happens on this podcast yeah. is we're now posting stuff and people and companies reach out to us. Yeah, it's pretty And awesome. they're like, hey, we saw your video. Yeah. So we did a blind ranking with cookies and Zach gave it to me and I said that uh, fudge stripes are my favorite cookie of all time. Keebler. Keebler what? reached out. What did they do? What did they do? They sent us a lot of cookies. So now... I've already eaten the half the first pack in like two hours. They sent us a bunch of fudge stripes. I love fudge stripes. <laughs> I love them. I know you do. I've oh, never had. So good. I've never had these mini ones. It's the same thing, but just mini. Yeah, I know. I don't know. I'm on a diet. No, you're not. No, I'm not. I I stole one of yours, by the way. One of these. Oh, you ate it. It's good. I ate one, and your sister ate one. Is it good? Everyone in the house wants them. They're hot yeah, commodity, I know. and you left them opened I upstairs. Know. It's fine. They might it's, not be there when you get fine. back. It's fine. It's fine. No, we were stoked. Um, very cool. I, so, it's yeah. one of my favorite things that happens with our channel is people reach out. We yeah. had the Grint reach out, which is the golfing yep. app. I never got my membership. We're not We're not going to be partnering with them probably. We're not. And the, I don't... We'll see. Mm. We didn't get a reply back after the mm. last... But if we do, eventually, it'll happen. Um, Keebler. But they said they were going to upgrade me to a pro membership. And I never gave him my information. Sad. And then if it's not, I can't sad, reach back sad out day. just asking for the membership. It's a sad, sad day. 
But yeah, Keebler. What a, what a company. Keebler okay. Elf. Outside of that, oh, I was doing some research for our game time, which we film after this, mm-hmm. um, which is a lot of the short form clips mm-hmm. that we post. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and I found something that I added to the podcast last second. Okay. Can you guess the five teams that have never been to an NBA Finals? So there are five teams in the league that have never made the finals. Can you guess all five? Okay, let me try here. Well, it's not the Knicks, it's not the Lakers, it's not the Celtics. We know that for a fact. You know that for a fact. It's not the Heat, it's not the Spurs, it's not the Mavericks. Yes, you're naming teams that have been to the finals. Reverse order. Okay. Is it the Grizzlies? The Grizzlies have never been to the finals. That's one of the teams. You got one of five. I feel like I could sweep this if I put in some effort. You feel confident? You feel good? I do feel confident. It's not the Suns because I know the Suns lost with Steve Nash. Okay. Hmm. (laughs) <laughs> I can't believe five teams have just never been. I feel like other leagues. Teams this is have NBA been. finals. NBA finals. So not ABA doesn't count. ABA doesn't count. I think the Nets lost in the finals. I like that. I like that from you. I'll give you that. Um, hmm. Geez, Louise. The Jazz. The Jazz are on my radar. Now think about that the one. Pistons though. won. No, it's not the Jazz. It's not the Jazz. I never said it. <laughs> I need a seat. Can I pull up a list of teams? You can pull up a list of teams. I'll give you. The oh, let me go with the Trailblazers. Trailblazers have been, oh, they've been no sweep. Wizards, Sorry, no sweep. Wizards have also been. Jesus, yeah. With who? Uh, with who? I don't know. <laughs> All right, now I got to lock in. Lock in. Dial in. What about the, the Kings? Kings have been. Jesus, I'm sucking. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. It's what okay. What about the? I'm just gonna start guessing teams. The Pelicans. Pelicans have not been to an NBA Finals. Now, now you're cooking a little bit. Should have got you're heating that. up. Should have got that way earlier. You should have. They're new. They're fresh. Um, the Hornets. The Hornets also have never been. That's this, that's this, three. That three so, of five. Such a stupid start. <laughs> Can you get the I final should've, two? Should have known. Um, the Thunder. Not the Thunder. Thunder went with KD. The Clippers. Clippers. Clippers is the fourth team. You said one of the other ones. Yep, it's the Timberwolves. It's the Timberwolves. The Timberwolves have never been either. <sighs> Five teams. Imagine being I a fan. Done better. It's okay. I mean, the Nets have never won. No, they never won. Maybe for a future episode. What? Wink, wink. What? <laughs> I don't know what that is about. You'll f- you'll oh, find out. People eventually. that have never won. Yeah, been yeah. to the finals, but never won. The Nets should have won that one year. Oh yes, yes. against the Bucks, Game Seven. Um. All right. So let's talk about some sports then. You, we're talking about sports. We're talking about sports. Are we talking about sports? We could do whatever you want. All right. How many blank could you get in a pro game? So this is yards or points or whatever. Okay. All right. I'm going to be way overconfident. How many points could you score in a WNBA game? WNBA? WNBA. If you played all 40 minutes, I'm assuming it's 40 minutes. No, you know what's going to happen? What? Is we're going to say this. Yep. I'm going to put a number out there and yep. someone's going to get angry about it yep. and say these two people sitting in a basement filming yep. a podcast are not going to be able to, they don't know what they're talking about. 14. <laughs> I thought you were going to say like 45. No. no. <laughs> 14. 14? 14. At least. At least. At least. At least. So average. At the minimum. And this is my thing. At the minimum, I'm getting shots up over majority of the players. Yeah. I mean, if you, sh- I mean, if you're just playing one game, you might as well shoot every time. Yeah. And if I get the ball on the three point line, I'm going to make at least 20%. Or you drive I'd in and get fouled. Yeah. I can't hit free throws. Yeah, I know you can. <laughs> uh, no, I agree. I think I think you could score more. Well, I, I feel s- bad saying it, but I think you. I mean, you're six four, six, six four, six, three and a half. Um, <laughs> it's the, it's the, you know what it is? I think. I think okay. The rulers wrong. I think the the end of the, the tape measure isn't accounted for in the distance. I think it was your hair. Mm, no. Uh, might have been your hair. No, it wasn't my hair. <laughs> okay, can we move on? <laughs> um, yeah, no. Uh, th- uh, I think that WNBA players are better than they ever have been right now. That's a bold take. Completely. It might just because WNBA is more popular and I'm more aware. Yeah, I think 14 solid. I mean, they're incredible athletes. Yeah. They're fantastic at what they do. Agreed. I just think if I'm playing in a game and you're giving me the green light, 14 points is the guaranteed. Hot lights on? <laughs> hot lights on. 14. Hot lights on. What about point? How many points could you score in an NBA game? So I've previously said ten. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> which, is, which is a little crazy. And we sat courtside at the Knicks game. Yeah, they're big. and they are big. Pascal Siakam yeah. is very tall. 
Six. I was gonna say six. Six. I think you could score six. I think I'm I don't f- think I'm getting fouled. Or I think you could drain two threes. I think I could. If drain you sit two in the threes. corner, camp out. Again, and it you all, get ten threes up. You make two. I don't know if I'm getting the ball a lot, but if I am, forget it. I'm just launching. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm, I'm like Kobe. Or Kobe on your body. Game. Getting yeah. fouled. All you right. know, I wish there was a way to like test it and like try it. Yeah. No, there isn't. No. <laughs> what about yards in an NFL game? Rushing. Rushing. You get 30 handoffs. 30 handoffs? 20, 20 handoffs. I'm probably going for about four yards. Four? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, think think I, holes, have, I think I have one big run, though. For four? <laughs> for no, four no for like 12. And then you get but all I negatives? Think I have, yeah. You know what? It's, a, it's just too tough. I think I'm getting like two because I'm getting a lot know, of negative though. yards. Like You don't think you could rush for like 20 yards if you have a great offensive line? I mean, if it's the Eagles offensive line last year, I'm rushing for 45 yards. Yeah. No, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> I'll probably rush. For, I'll give myself like 10. If you get 30 carries, we're not that much slower than those guys. I We're slow, I but. I think we're slow. Okay. I am at least. <laughs> I don't I know. It's like how much is 0.3 seconds in a 40? It's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go. Uh, I'm going to go with 10 yards if I get the ball 30 times. Okay. That's not very many yards. I think I could do that. What should we move on to? Do you want a riddle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll yeah. give you a riddle. All right. It's riddle time, people. It's riddle time. Welcome to Zach's riddle time. Oh, there's the riddle siren. Riddle time, riddle time, riddle time, riddle time. Okay. The person who made it doesn't want it. The person who buys it has no use for it. The person who uses it doesn't know they're using it. What is it? I'm going to have to ask you to repeat that. The person who made it. The person who made it doesn't want it. The person who buys it has no use for it. The person who uses it doesn't know they're using it. What do we think it is, Brian? You have uh, any ideas? Person who made it doesn't want it. Doesn't want okay. it. Person who buys it has no use for it. Has no use for it. Person who <laughs> person who it doesn't wait. The person who it doesn't know they're Whoa, whoa, whoa. The person who uses <laughs> it doesn't know the person who uses it doesn't know they're using it. They don't know what they're using it. Oxygen. Not oxygen. But that's not a bad it has guess. No, use for it. no, you have to be able to buy it. And you have to be able to make it. Well, trees make oxygen. Yeah, but the person who made it. Well, if you plant a tree, uh, all right, here's the workaround. The person who made it doesn't want it. They don't want I don't want it. You don't want it? <laughs> no. Blood? I don't want it. No, not blood. Why would I not want blood? I don't know. <laughs> to be bleeding? <laughs> to be bleeding? The person who buys it has no use for it. You ha- what do you have to buy? The a person plastic who bag? buys it has no use for it. Yeah, well, they don't have a use for it at the time they buy it. What do you? No, no, no. Sorry. I'm so confused. <laughs> the person who buys it has no use for it. Correct. And the person who who uses it doesn't know they're using it. Now, the, I don't love the person who buys it has no use for it, but we could roll with it. Is this like uh, something like emotionally? Not emotionally. No, it's physical. It's a physical thing. It's a physical thing. Plastic bag. Not a plastic bag. Why? <laughs> Why would? I don't know. You could use a plastic bag for a lot of things. Who's using it doesn't know they're using it. They don't know they're using it. Hair. Not uh, hair. Uh, uh, no. Uh, who made it doesn't want it. Milk. Not milk. <laughs> um, <What? laughs> not enough. It's milk. Who uses it doesn't know they're Let's using it. Let's go one it. by one, right? Okay. Okay. The person who made it doesn't want it. Yep. So think of something that people don't want. I don't want... Um, I don't want... Oh, do we have a light bulb? No, traffic. Not traffic. <laughs> um, <laughs> who makes it doesn't want it. And then let's focus on the third line. The person who uses it doesn't know they're using it. So how would they not know they're using it? It's invisible. No, it's not invisible. It's on them. It's, it's not on them. It's inside of them. No? It's connected to them? It's not connected. <laughs> How would like it. what what's a what state do you have to be in to not know you're using sleeping. something? Sleeping. Sleeping, but what's uh what's more than sleeping? It's dreaming. What's what's more than dreaming? Because you're not dreaming. Dying. You died. Okay, you died. So the person who uses it doesn't know they're using it. A coffin. A coffin or a casket. 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 Same thing. Very well done. Is a coffin the same thing as a casket? I think so. Mm-hmm. I think one's just a little more scary than the other. That was challenging. That was challenging. It's a tough one. We got sent that by someone on Instagram. <sighs> yeah. That messed that's with my one. head. It does. You know, that's what riddles are supposed to do. That's what they're made for. Um, all right. That was interesting. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, I have a like a, 
a, like a daily question. Okay. Like a routine question like we usually do. Okay. How often do you change your toothbrush? Ah. Uh, now, I've recently bought an electronic toothbrush. Totally different game. I don't think so. I mean, it's similar, but You change the top. Yeah, you change the actual brush on top. How often do you change your toothbrush? So the last toothbrush, I went way too long. How long is too long? I went like nine months. Nine months. Way too long. Way too long. Let's look up how, how often you should. I think you're supposed to every two to three months. Three months. Three months. So you tripled it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the most hygienic person sometimes. That one's a bad one. I'm not proud of that one. No. I felt like the electronic toothbrush was working so much. Like it gets deteriorated a lot slower. Like it was still doing the job. Yeah, but you I know? think there's stuff in there now. Ugh, don't say there's that. It's like little germs don't running around. Don't, nah, don't say that. Now they're alive. That's horrible. So nine months? Do you use different toothpaste on a different toothbrush heads? No. No? No. Do you I always the buy same. the same toothpaste? Yeah, I use the same toothpaste. Unless I'm like at my girlfriend's and she has different toothpaste, then I'll I use different. I mix it up. Why? Every single time I go to the... I feel like your teeth don't like that. <laughs> I don't know if they do. I feel do. like I don't like it. Sometimes I go whitening with the Colgate or Crest. And then sometimes I go with the the uh, sensitive one, um, Sensodyne. Mm. I whatever I'm feeling. I go that the toothpaste day. with no fluoride. Oh yeah, healthy. Yeah, or, I, I go in to the uh, supermarket or wherever I'm buying it, and I just analyze. And you know, it's whatever I'm feeling that day. I think you got to change your toothbrush head more often. <laughs> I think what, I do. How too. far are you into this new toothbrush? Probably like a month and a half. So yeah, maybe a month, month and a half. Why don't you just get ahead of it? I get ahead had, of it. you know what the sad part is, is the last toothbrush had, I had another one handy and I just never replaced just it. don't care. Yeah. And then don't get me started with flossing. I've been horrible. Yeah, I have been horrible too. I've never been need good. need to get back into I've it. I've never been good at flossing. How never. often do you floss? I used to floss like How every day, do every you other floss day. now? Never. Maybe once every two weeks. Yeah, I don't floss ever If that's really. good. I do like once I every I need to get back maybe. into it. Whenever my dentist appointment is coming up, I always tidy up. Like yeah, I'm like a they month. always get on you. Well, but I you can't just do it for a week and expect them to like be like, oh wow, great job. I got like a month and a half ahead, and I I really that's good. Get after it. That's very good. It's the best thing you could do for your teeth is floss and mouthwash. I learned that at my dentist. Oh, that's great. Um, can you pick up your phone? Okay, cool, good. Eh, just hold it. Just hold it. Holding it. Have you ever heard of iPhone finger? I have heard of this. You've heard of it? Yeah, Look at the, the way you're holding your phone right pinky. now. Your pinky's underneath your phone holding it. Now yeah. compare your... <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> okay. I have to check my notes. Now now put your phone down and look at your pinkies. And everybody who's watching, I want you to do the same thing. Do you see like a little dent on your pinky? I see a little bit, but it's nothing crazy. It's nothing crazy? You don't think there's there's a little I don't dent? No, look at it. What do you think? I don't think so, but then I went, I went like, let me I, see yours. I turned my pinkies like this. So here's mine. Look from the outside. Okay. I could actually see it. Yeah. So I turned mine like this and you could see the line here. So explain where it comes from. It comes from, so well, I guess you just apparently did. your pinky has evolved over time due to holding your phone. So people, everybody holds their smartphone like this with their pinky there. And doctors think it's just temporary. It's not permanent because your phone's apparently not heavy enough, but I think it's real. I have like a little shelf well, on why my would pinky. It not be real? I don't know. So like over time, like if the aliens come, they could like investigate and look at our pinkies, and and, and they're gonna document it. I don't believe in that. evolution. That's not a thing. <laughs> it's not a thing. Yeah, doctors say it's temporary. It's not permanent. What do they know? And well, they don't know anything. That's like anything new. Like, is social media gonna affect you in fifty years? Nobody will know right now. I guess nobody will know. But I just figured, I'd like, com- comment, I guess, if you have iPhone pinky. I think everyone does. You think everyone does? I would assume that everyone has some sort of it if it's a real thing. My pinkies are doing just fine. I don't like my fingers. Or my toes. I'm fine <laughs> with my fingers. Look at this. Got this playing pool. Oh, yeah? Yep. Were you chalking too hard? Hit the ball hard? too hard and started bleeding. An amateur move. I know. It really hurt. It's bruised up. Bruised up, baby. Where were you playing? Locals. Okay. I had one more question because, so I got this at a bar. Okay. Playing pool. Yes. I wanted to ask you a question about drinking. Great transition. Do you drink to get drunk or for the taste? You're not going to like my answer. Don't say You're not going to like my answer. What are you going to say? What do you think I'm going to say? I think you're going to say to get drunk. No. You don't (laughs) drink for the taste, you liar. (laughs) 
No, you're listen, a liar. Listen to me. I'm listening. I, I feel like I used to drink to get drunk, and nowadays. <sighs> <laughs> I told you you weren't gonna like it. Yeah, I don't like it. I like I do like a drink at dinner now. I've really started adulting. Yeah, but okay, it's like a nice thing. It's like a ceremony it's because like of the alcohol. No, yes, it's not because if of the you, alcohol. All right, so what do you, what taste do you like better? The taste of beer or the taste of a soda? I would that never you really get a like? beer at dinner. What do you get? I would. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't get a beer at dinner. I would get. I've been rocking espresso martinis. Phenomenal. So you just get an espresso martini without the alcohol. It's the modern day four loco. That, <laughs> <laughs> but it's the, it's probably better without the alcohol. No, but it doesn't taste the same. It, no, listen, listen, it, listen. I am a biggest advocate of not overpaying for drinks. And when you pay for two drinks at dinner and it could be like $40 for those two drinks, it's a little tough to justify because yeah. you're saying that you want to use it just for the, it's like I want to pay $40 just for the taste of something. No, I wouldn't. It's a little bit of the buzz too, but it's, it's a the combination. Buzz. It's an art. It's a combination, it's obviously. Art. Yes, it's, it's a combination, art. but it's not. It's if it didn't have the alcohol, would you get it? But I like the ceremony of doing it. Yeah, because of the alcohol. But because everyone's like, "Ooh, let's get a little but, risky. I, <laughs> let's get <laughs> yeah. a little crazy." I think it's like it's so nice to sit down at dinner and have like a drink, and you know the one drink's not going to get you drunk, but the taste of it, and it's like the art that goes in the cocktail. Oh my God. And if it didn't have, I know this sounds so oh not like God. me. I don't even know who I, I don't am think there's anymore. one drink that has alcohol in it that I prefer the taste over a drink without alcohol in it. I don't know. I like like a beer compared to a chocolate milk. I'm drinking <laughs> the chocolate milk for the taste. Obviously, I'm never choosing the beer because of the taste. No, that's fair. If I'm drinking beer, it's to get drunk. Yeah. <laughs> that's just what that's just what it is. You're, you're trying. Yeah, to get it's a almost like would you ever drink the zero alcohol beers just for fun? No. Yeah. Like no. why don't you're gonna drink? A, you're gonna drink a but a, mo- beer but or a mocktail something. isn't like a cocktail. I would n- I would rather drink like a Gatorade <laughs> or uh, <laughs> at dinner. You're no, gonna go, you're gonna go to a nice. Well, dinner. if there was no such thing as alcohol, I wouldn't drink a mocktail. I would rather drink like a Sprite. Yeah. Or Shirley no, Temple. I, hey, listen, I'm on both sides of the fence. I'm, I'm just, you know what it is. I don't know who I am anymore. I know I re- you are. I really once I've, you lost the hair, it I've all lost. Went, oh, <laughs> you really had to go. There. It all went downhill. You always have to go there. Well, not downhill, just confusing. <laughs> just got a little confusing. Uh, maybe I should go into this topic then. Just, just quick. I'll hit you with two topics and maybe we'll wrap up. Okay. How do you feel about that? Deal, Howie. No, you call Which one do you want deal? first? One. You want topic one? one. Okay, I'm gonna go with two. First of all, <laughs> just real quick, I had salad. I ate salad. What? <laughs> I just want to say that one. Well, it was like a burrata. You ever have a burrata? That's cheese. It's cheese. That, that's not <laughs> no, salad. No. That is cheese. Oh, no, listen to me. Burrata <laughs> that's like salad. The opposite of salad. I think it was a burrata salad. Did you just eat the burrata? <laughs> no. <laughs> Chill out. Relax. There was lettuce around the No. <laughs> the it was uh, arugula, I think it was. Pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> it was burrata cheese, arugula lettuce. I think it was arugula. Maybe it was romaine. No, romaine's gross. Um, and then I had <laughs> oh, tomatoes. Dip. I ate tomatoes. You know why? Why? The tomatoes in Europe, phenomenal. Really? I would hate them here. Would I, you I eat don't... ketchup there? I, no. Zach's, one, one of Zach's biggest fears is ketchup. Do not even say that in the same it's sentence. the same thing, though. No, it's not. The, the, <laughs> the tomatoes there are like crispy. They got like a little crunch to them. It's I'm not sure like, it's you not could make wet them here. and melted and gross. Can... No, they, no. Apparently you can, because I was talking to my yeah, roommate sure and he you said can. you can. He's like, why don't you get the Italian tomatoes? So I was like, I don't know how to tell their nationality. <laughs> it was a joke. See? Good. All right. Let me go into You're a wild let me, person. Let me go into what I what I want to. Have you heard of Dorito Theory? No. I have okay. not. Okay. This girl on TikTok, Celeste Aria. I have to say it because so a lot that's of that's a made up name, first of all. <laughs> it's it's gotta move be on. It's a fake name. Um I have to credit her because a lot of people are posting about this, but not crediting her. And she posts about not crediting. Okay. I want to make sure we credit her. Credited. Credited Celeste Aria, made up name woman. She went viral on TikTok talking about experiences that are not truly satisfying, but highly addictive. So basically Dorito theory is about experiences that aren't truly satisfying and are maximally addictive. Do you want to hear more? Like drinking and gambling? <laughs> sure. Those two. Isn't that what it is? Uh, kind of. Yeah. So like when you have a bite of a Dorito, yeah, yeah, like you're satisfied when you eat it. Yes. But then afterwards, there's no like gratification. It's like eating Wendy's. Y- mm, 
I'm pretty satisfied after <laughs> <Okay. eating that. laughs> But yeah, like if you were to have like a full meal, like a steak or, yeah. or Wendy's or whatever full course thing going okay. on, right? When you're done with it, like you're satisfied. You're yeah. like, okay, that was what it was and I'm good for it. You're full. When you eat a Dorito, yes. you want another one because yeah. well, the experience during... Well, if you classify a full meal compared to one Dorito, if you eat a full bag of Doritos, I would be full. Are you, yeah, you're full, but are you satisfied? Yeah. But you ate the full bag because you ate the Dorito. The experience was better than how you felt afterwards. I would agree with that. Okay. That is Dorito theory. Okay. So it applies to some different things. So the experience peaks is, when you first taste the Dorito. Nothing exists after besides wanting to chase the first taste again. Okay. Is this Celeste Ari is taking credit for making this? I think she heard it somewhere and she's like went viral for it. Okay. So it's, why would we give her credit then? Well, we have to because I, I feel like... I don't know if she created it. I didn't do enough research. <laughs> um, but yeah, so like something that's similar to it is like scrolling through TikTok. Yeah. Like after you scroll through TikTok for 40 minutes, you really feel satisfied. No, after. I feel like I wasted 40 minutes. Yeah. And sorry, same thing no, if- I feel like I learned some things, <laughs> but yes, I could have been doing more productive things. Yeah. So when you go through TikTok, you're not satisfied at one video. So you scroll to the next yeah. and the experience of watching the video in that moment is better than after. Definitely. Exactly. Dorito theory. <laughs> Thanks for explaining that to me. <laughs> no, but apparently there are things in life that people try and remove that apply to Dorito theory. And like everyone's drinking. going crazy about it. Like drinking and gambling. It's anything that's addictive. Really. Yeah, it's like better in the moment, but afterwards you don't feel great. Yes. Going to the gym, the opposite. Yes, you feel phenomenal after the gym, but the experience sucks. Yeah. So I gotta get back. Fun. I gotta get back to the gym. I gotta do that. I'm back. Um, last one I had. Last Let's topic. We are at 56 minutes. 50, we're approaching 57 now. hour. And we'll cut it down a little bit. It'll oh, be cut down a little bit. So we might be at like 53 minutes. Who knows? If you had to choose a fictional character as a best friend, mm. who are you choosing? Fictional character, best friend. There's two routes you could go here. You could go animated characters or you could go fictional characters. Can I go Cosmo and Wanda? You can, <laughs> you know why? Because you want fairly odd parents? Yeah. That's a hack. You can only take one. Who are you taking? Probably Wanda. Cosmo's should, a little dumb. Well, <laughs> Cosmo's a little, a little bit dumb. Um, I had some noted here that mm. I th- thought you might like, yeah. but let's see what else you could come up with. Uh, well, Cosmo and Wanda would be a good one because I get like some cool stuff out of it. Okay, but let's say superpowers are just dry. as a friend. As a friend. Okay. Someone you can hang out with on the daily. Just someone as a friend. Someone said Joey from Friends. Yeah. 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 And when I say someone, I mean, the I feel internet. like I have that as like a real friend now. Like some of my friends are very similar to him. Like Mark is Joey. That's what exactly what I was <laughs> thinking. Like, we're right there. Um, <laughs> I, so funny. I preferred like the animated route. Some people said Ron Weasley because nah. he's a good guy. Scooby Doo. Scooby Doo is the first person I had listed for you. Scooby. I felt like if you wanted yeah, Scooby a companion. Plus he's a dog. Dog's man's best friend. I can talk kind of. Just makes sense. Kind of a little bit. Um, yeah. Uh, SpongeBob? Rick Sanchez. Rick Sanchez, good one. Very well, he's kind good of one. a horrible friend, but you get to yeah. do cool stuff. Actually, no, because he like gets him in some situations you don't want to be in. What about Groot? Groot would be good. I I've like never Groot. seen it, so I don't know what his personality is like. I'm sure he's a great speak. guy. Oh, yeah? He just says Groot. <laughs> I am Groot. <laughs> I didn't know that Jimmy one. Neutron? Tony Stark. Tony Stark would be good. Oh, yeah, someone rich. That's a good way to go yeah. about it. Bruce ba- Bruce Banner? Is that his name? Oh, let's, Bruce let's go through that. Okay. Bruce, <laughs> Bruce, Bruce, Banner. Bruce Banner's the Hulk. Is he? Yeah. I didn't know that. I think. Um, Pikachu. That would be cool. It's kind of like the dog, man's best friend. That is kind of cool. Michael Scott. No. No? <laughs> nah, probably not. Peter Griffin. Yes. Dewey. Yes. One of Peter? Either one. Anyone from that show. Besides Anyone from Meg. Family Guy? Besides Meg. She's the worst. <laughs> uh yeah, no, that's a pretty good question. SpongeBob would you be You like Jimmy good. Neutron? I like Jimmy, Jimmy Neutron. Turner. Adventure Time? Anyone from there? Yeah, Jake and Finn. Finn Jake, Jake and Finn. They're great friends. I love how I have your search history on here now, too. Oh, do you? Well, it just comes up when you... Oh, you know who would be a good one? Donkey who? Kong. No. <laughs> that Why? would be awesome. <laughs> I don't know. He just seems like a cool guy. <laughs> yeah. Sounds like a pretty cool guy. I'll give you that one. I don't like the show, but I'd like to be friends with Harry Potter. I think but, that'd be pretty cool. Okay. The show? The movie. <laughs> Same thing. Is it getting late? Yeah. Let's get it's late. It's not even that late. It's, it's not even that late. It's 7 o'clock. <laughs> All right. That is Makeshift Podcast 72. 72. That's it. First uh, podcast in the new stew. 
Or One, not in the new stew. It's not. Where are you? You're really breaking down. <laughs> Buen viaje. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> full circle moment That means there. good trip. Um, that doesn't make sense. Yeah, follow us. Comment on the YouTube video, because when you guys comment on the YouTube video, it's the full length. The YouTube does, the video does better, I think. Yeah. So we like to engage with people. We reply to some of the comments. And comment down below what you guys want us to, see, what you guys want to see us do outside of the studio. Yeah. Because we're going to start doing that. We're soon. going to adventure outside the studio and do some things. Yes. Sorry, next week we're going to start filming for it. Yes. Stoked. All right. And All this right. podcast was actually filmed the week of us posting it. Yes. First time in a while. Yes. And this podcast was brought to you by no one because yeah. we need a sponsor and no stickers and no stickers because we don't have a sponsor we need a sponsor <laughs> right, goodbye that's a wrap <laughs>